I know it's exciting. We got summer travel season upon us and I'm even in the process of trying to plan some trips. So let's get all of our travel ducks in a row first. And that's why we've got Expedia travel expert Melanie Fish and she's joining us actually from the Expedia Explore conference in Las Vegas to help give us the latest on some of the breakthroughs on the way and to make it easier to plan, book and take those trips. Welcome to the show, Melanie. And yes, Las Vegas, always a top destination in sight of the conference, of course where you're announcing some new innovations. Tell us what's new. Well, we're all excited to travel and clearly Expedia is ready for us to travel because they have unveiled some really cool tool new, new tools for travelers. Okay, the first one I wanna tell you about, trip boards. If you have rented whole private vacation homes on Verbo in the past couple of years, you might be familiar with this one. You can heart the favorite properties you're thinking about staying, and then you share that list with the people you're traveling with. They can go in, they can comment, they can vote. It's so much easier to plan a trip with the people you love than sharing a spreadsheet or text threads or a bunch of emails. So that is now coming to Expedia. It's gonna make your trip planning much more streamlined. Second one I'm really excited about, you're getting ready to book that flight and you're thinking, mm, should I book it now? Is, that co is, it, is the cost gonna go down maybe a couple dollars if I wait a couple days? Or do I need to hurry up because the price is gonna go up? Well, Expedia is now sharing all its billions of points of data with travelers so that when you go to book that plane ticket you will actually see the likelihood that the cost is actually going to go down this is the perfect time to book or you should wait a couple days when is the perfect date to book or oh, it's only going to go up from here i need to go ahead and do it so those are two new innovations i'm excited about and then a little preview of what's coming. There's going to be a mega loyalty program across Expedia and its sister brands, Hotels.com, Verbo, where you can earn and redeem points no matter what kind of travel you're doing. And they release the name of that program that's coming next year. It's called One Key. All right, yeah, that is nice, nice, exciting stuff there. And you know, my family, it's hard to get on the same page exactly where we're gonna do, where we're gonna stay. So that is uh, definitely some innovation and, and good news. Now, what should travelers expect as they head out this summer? You should expect some crowds. I mean, this truly is going to be the busiest summer travel season ever. Ever. The search levels are up over where they were in 2019. People are looking for trips. So you should expect a lot more people out. That might mean with more demand, the prices are up. So I really wouldn't delay in booking your trip. Okay, yes, good advice. And are there any new trends we should be considering before we book? Well, I mean, just getting out there is exciting. And because people have been delaying some of these big trips, they're taking splurgecations, really going all in on maybe a little bit nicer trip than they've taken before. Another trend I'm seeing is that love of national and state parks is sticking mm -hmm. around from the couple of years. People are really craving the great outdoors. And beach, 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 top destinations, Hawaii, Florida, Mexico, so people want to get to the beach this summer. All right, it sounds fun to me. Now, how can we get more bang for our buck? Ooh, okay, we're all looking for that because with this higher demand, prices may be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna tell you, bundle and save, book that flight, that hotel, that car rental, all at the same time. You can save a couple hundred bucks on Expedia if you bundle your trip that way. Um, another thing, work those loyalty programs. If you have points, maybe now is the time uh, to use them. And if you do have some flexibility, you might want to consider not traveling on those peak summer holidays. I just booked plane tickets for the 4th of July. They were a little steep. Um, so if you have that flexibility, you might want to consider it. Okay, Melanie. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to travel now, thanks to you. And where can we go for more information? Go to the Expedia app. Let's start planning that travel. All right, thanks again. And of course, uh, to plan more, you can go to our website as well. And that's firstcoastliving.net.